All right, this is June 2019, question 6B. And um, the question says, the diagram below not drawn to scale shows the cross section of two cylindrical jars, jar X and jar Y. The, this, the diameter of jar X and jar Y are 3D centimeters and D centimeters respectively. Initially, jar Y is empty and jar X contain water to a height or depth of 4 centimeters. We are to determine in terms of X and D the volume of water in jar X. Alright, so the first thing we have to remember is that the diameter The diameter is equal to 3D. So this means that the radius would be equal to 3D divided by 2. The radius is a half of the diameter. Now, a liquid takes the shape of its container. So if the shape of the container, if the container is a, um, is a cylinder, the liquid in the container is also a cylinder. So the volume of the water, all right, volume of water, it is water, would be equal to A times H, which is the formula for calculating the volume of a solid shape with a uniform cross section. The water is in the cylinder, therefore the water takes the shape of the cylinder. So the volume now, the area of the cross section, the cross section is a circle, so it's pi times radius square h. The radius is equal to 3d over 2, so it is pi times 3d over 2 square times the height. Alright? Now, um, so the volume would be equal to pi times 3 threes are 9, so it's 9d squared, 2 squared is 4, times the height of the water in the container, which is also 4. So cross 4 cancels 4. So the volume of liquid or the volume of water in jar x is 9 pi d square centimeters cubed. All right, next. Next, it says, if all the water from jar X is now poured into jar Y, or to calculate the height, it will reach. Or to calculate the height, it will reach. So, um, the water that was in jar X is now poured into jar Y. So, in jar Y, um, in jar Y, the... Um, the diameter is equal to D, the radius is equal to D over 2, the volume is equal to pi R square H, which is equal to pi times what? D over 2 square times H. So this volume would be equal to um, pi d square h over 4. Now, um, the volume of water in jar x, which is what? Um, the volume of water, which is 9 pi d square, is now poured into what? Jar what? Um, y. So the two volumes are the same. The thing that did not change is the volume. So the volume of water in jar x, which is 9 pi d square, is equal to the volume of water in jar y, which is pi d square h over 4. I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to get um, pi d square h 
is equal to 4 nines 36 pi d square. All right, so um, let's divide both sides by pi d square, pi d square, pi d square. That cancels that, that cancels that. We get h is equal to 36. So if the content of jar x, which is 9 pi d square, is poured into what um, jar y, the volumes, the two volumes are the same. So the two volumes are the same, we equate the two volumes and work until we get the fact that, that the height of the water um, in jar y is 36 centimeters.